Hey, Andy here from buildahottub.com. In this video, we're gonna take a look at how we fit a swim jet to a DIY hot tub, plunge pool, cocktail pool, small pool, you get the idea. So let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, so what is a swim jet? Well, a swim jet can go by a number of different names. It can be called a counter current, an endless pool, obviously a swim jet. Essentially, all of the different names mean the same thing. It is a device that creates a current against which you can swim and it turns your small hot tub swim spa, cocktail pool, into a endless swimming pool. So you're able to swim constantly against that current, against the jet, against the flow in that smaller area. So there's obviously lots of benefits for, for health, for exercise, but a huge benefit is you've got the same result as a huge pool, but you can do it in a much smaller space. And when we're trying to build these in our backyards, space is quite often at a premium. So it's really important that we can maximize the use. So that's really what the, the whole swim jet counter current kind of thing is about. Now, these units are normally hugely expensive. We're talking several thousand dollars, certainly upwards of that if you're looking for something to be a, you know, if you're a pro athlete or a, a pro swimmer, you're gonna need one of the, the hydraulic units. And the way that these things work is you have a impeller which sits in the pool, and then you've got a series of hydraulic lines, and then you've got a hydraulic unit that creates the force that actually generates the current from the impeller. So you've got two different units, and these are incredibly expensive. They're really, really good but they're not really accessible for, for us as a DIYer. It's more of a pro installation. So what do we do as a DIYer? Well, there is an option out there and it's the option that I can certainly provide and it is a swim jet. This is a swim jet. It's quite a large unit as you can see. It's a totally self-contained unit. The way that it works is the water is sucked in around the edge here it's then sent backwards through the, the larger three inch pipe here, which we're gonna actually drop down to two inch. I'll talk about the installation shortly. It goes into a jet pump. It comes out of the jet pump. It comes back through the returns, out through the jet, which you can adjust the flow. You can adjust the angle on this particular one to 15 degrees. And that is a swim jet. It creates a current against which you can swim. So it's pretty straightforward in terms of the, the setup. So how do we actually install this into a hot tub, plunge pool, swim spa, cocktail pool, all of these different options? Well, we're gonna install it in exactly the same way. So firstly, what I've done is I've actually split the unit into its two parts. So this is the actual body, and it's this body that will fit into the wall. And the way that we're gonna install it is we're gonna have the, the larger, which is a three inch connection here. That's gonna be on the base and bottom like this. We're gonna have the smaller two and a half inch, but we've actually dropped that down with a connector to two inch. That's gonna be on the top. And this is gonna sit into the wall. So it's actually gonna be flush here with the pool wall. And you can see behind me the diagram of, of how this should actually look. So we're gonna put this into the wall and we're gonna concrete it in place. So even if we're using blocks, we're gonna to need to, to actually do some concrete in here because obviously it's kind of cylindrical in nature. So we're gonna to need to concrete this into the wall so it's nice and firmly on the side of that pool wall. With the unit, firmly in place we're then going to hook up the plumbing and as you can see here i've got a i've got a reducing bush that this is a, a 90 mil or a three inch connection what i'm doing with this reducing bush is i'm actually dropping it down to two inch the reason that i'm dropping it down to two inch is i'm going to have my jet pump within a meter or three foot six of this actual unit that means that I can use two inch piping and it, it just makes things a little bit simpler. If I'm gonna go beyond that one meter or three foot six, 
then I'm going to need to get rid of these reducers here and actually use the larger pipes. So I need that three inch pipe here or the two and a half inch, so it's 90 mil or 75 mil in, in metric. Okay. Now with this particular model, you can't go any further than six meters. I think that's about 10 feet um, because you need the flow. So that's the maximum that your pump can actually be away from this particular jet. So as you can see behind me here is a diagram of what it looks like when it's actually connected to the plumbing. So there's a two inch pipe. We've got a ball valve on each one. So just as we're doing with regular hot tub pumps or swimming pool pumps, we're going to need those valves for isolation. So it means that we can take the pump out for service if we need to without draining the pool. Now this actual unit, again, you can see the diagram behind me. It needs to be installed around 300 millimeters. I think that's 11.8 inches, which I've actually rounded up to 12 inches on the diagram here below the water line. So the center of the actual jet needs to be at that 300 millimeters or 12 inches below the water line. And that's so it creates the current that you can actually swim against. So when you're putting it in the wall, the first thing that you're gonna to have to do is measure down to make sure you're actually fitting it in the, uh, in the correct way. So once we've got the unit into the wall, once we've got the plumbing behind actually ready to be connected, what do we need to do next? Well, we actually need to fit the, the front of the, the jet, or we've got the, the actual housing or the body, so we're gonna fit the jet into the body. So how do we do that? So this is the jet body. It's quite a large uh, jet, as you can see here. So here we have a, an O-ring, which is gonna fit nicely into the smaller that of those two pipes. So it's gonna fit into the 75 mil or that two and a half inch pipe. And it's gonna go this way up. So we have the jet at the top, we have the intakes around the edge, and we've got our pressure switch at the bottom. Now I say this is a pressure switch, this is more of an actual actuator because it, it creates the, the little burst of air that go, go, goes through to that pressure switch. So, so how does that pressure switch actually work? So here is the pressure switch which is actually connected to the tubing. And the, the pressure switch, as you can see, is quite small. And what I'm gonna do on this actual switch is I'm gonna break into the hot wire or the live wire on the jet pump. I'm gonna put that on either of the terminals. And what that means is I can then use the pressure switch to turn on the jet pump from inside of the pool. Now, the way that it works is when I press the, the button here, on the actual unit, it sends a small jet of air when this is connected to the back, just like so. And that then creates the connection on the switch. It will then turn on the jet. So it just means that I've got no electrics in the pool. It makes it much, much safer, but it does mean that I can turn the swim jet here on or off from inside of the pool using the pressure switch and the, the button actuator here on the, uh, on the front of the jet. Now, inside of the body, you can see at the top here, if I just hold this up and point to it there, you can see that there's a hole. That hole is so that we can feed the tubing here out of the back of the unit. Now, if I turn this round, you can see on the back of the unit, we have, we got those two pipes that we've talked about already. We've also got two actual airlines, and these airlines we're gonna connect with this 32 millimeter tubing. And that's gonna go on each one of these. On one, the one with the actual hole on, that we're gonna feed the tube for that pressure switch out through the airline. So it just gives us uh, a simple way of getting that tubing out of the unit without any additional holes. The whole point of this tubing and the airlines is to be able to draw air into the unit, reduces the amount of bubbles, and uh, I think it evens the pressure up somewhat. There's some clever design in there, I'm sure, from the guys at the factory, but you know, this is what we need to do. So we need to connect two of these pipes either side. So if I hold this up here and just point to them, you can see there's one here and there's one here. What's key with the airlines 
is we're actually taking this tubing and we're having it up over the water line. So when it comes from the, the jet here, it can go through the wall, we can make different shapes if we need to, to get it to where we need to be. But the other end must be above the water line. And that's so that the pool or the hot tub doesn't actually drain through this pipe. So we've got to have it above the water line. And you can see behind me, there's a image here that shows you know, just how it should be installed. And that airline, or well, the two of them, need to be above the water line. Okay, and finally, when you come to fit the actual body to the housing, you'll see inside that there's another tube, which is another airline and that has to fit, oh, it looks like I've got a hat on. Uh, it's got to fit onto the, the side here. You can see that there's a, there's a connection. I can't quite talk to the video, hold both of the parts and, and push it in at the same time, but that pipe fits onto, if I sort of highlight that there, you can see that it fits onto this connector here. It's just a push fit. And again, that's just to feed air into the unit. Once you're ready, it will then screw in to the front. So just bear with me a second whilst I put this together. There we go. So I've pushed that together and on the front now I've got four screws that will go here, here, here and here and that unit just screws together. So it's really simple but really effective way of having a swim jet or a counter current in your DIY hot tub, plunge pool, cocktail pool, however you want to call it, okay? And the really great thing about this unit is it doesn't cost the earth. So I can supply this to you with the pump, with all of the bits that you've seen on this video for around $2,000, which is a huge saving compared to others on the market. Just Google them. Um, you can look at the guys from Spec or Beidou. You know, their units, they look very similar. They're about five grand upwards. Any of the hydraulic units, you're talking eight grand plus to, uh, to have those. So it's a, a real cost-effective way of getting a swim jet into your DIY hot tub or plunge pool. Once again, thank you very much for watching the video. I do appreciate the view. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you've got any questions whatsoever, please hit me up in the comments. And of course, if you would like one of these, get in touch in the comments or via the website, buildahottub.com. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this video useful and I will see you on the next video. If you've liked this video, please do like, share and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you on the next video.